All right, sup YouTube once again today. I got uh, a couple of cutouts from this uh, sawmill blade. I uh, found it at a scrap yard. So, old school. I'm not sure what type of steel, but steel nonetheless. I heard uh, any sawmill blade like this is good for knives, for uh, hunting and whatnot. Design this. Reminds me of a fucking seahorse. Oh, pardon my mouth. Again, YouTube. Not sure who would take offense to that. But I can't quite attempt the plate edge or uh, drill holes. It's not stainless steel, I can tell you that much. Because if you can see all this little flex here, that's uh, rust pretty much. Pulled it out of the scrap heap before it was uber caked. Yeah, it's uh, nice. Mm, choke up on it pretty far. Skinning. Uh, choke back, get the leverage, chopping, it's really blade heavy. The way I set it up is basically where your finger ends is where the balance should be. As you can see, it's blade heavy. Yeah, It's secure, it's not going to fly out of your hand. I was going to have this uh, droop down like a fang, I guess, but I figured might as well not for safety measures. It's basically, you can drop it if need be, if uh, something happens or whatnot. There's this one, way too beefy for the way I cut it out. It's uh, same steel, cut it out from uh, over here. I basically uh, cut two blanks out from right here because I figured it'd be easier to work with. There's that one and this blank here. I have that backwards, whatever. You get the gist of it for uh, this knife here. Now what I do is some people just draw it straight to the steel and cut it out. But I'm not going to do that. I don't like doing that. Um, it's preference. I like to feel it, how it uh, fits in the hand before I put it on steel. Just because I would be able to tweak it before, you know, it's officially cut out and have to scrap it and waste steel. Or have to make something else out of it. With knives, I like this back style here. Basically where it drops like that. Oh, fail. Just because it feels right in the hand. This here, this swoop. Um, tweaking it, I guess. I like the finger troils. It helps from keeping sliding up. Thumb ramp for uh, good slicing or uh, flick hacking. Just quick, just flick the switch or wrists. Also put this here on this uh, for uh, skinning if need be. But my only concern with that is this is pretty thick steel for uh, this type of blade or blade style skinning and whatnot. Yeah, I know I say whatnot a lot. Get over it. Yeah, it's this thing's beefy in my hands. Probably uh, gonna get a belt sander soon and a Dremel and bench grinder just so uh, I can get it. Well, start getting blades finished and done for personal use. Anyway, so again with the black backdrop, but the when I cut it out of the cardboard, it didn't feel right. I don't know if I have it down here. Maybe. Yeah, it's not down here. But basically it was, yeah, like this. But you can kind of see what I did. It was basically I made uh, this here bigger and run further down. 
So basically the way your hand naturally is, is here it's round, same with the palm, kind of spherical. And when it droops like this, it doesn't feel quite right. I don't know it's well for the way this blade is anyways but this it's meant to be a chopper and processor but it's like that so you can choke back on it comfortably and give it a good chop but what I do is when I do the design on paper is I take it to cardboard first just because it's accessible everywhere what I do is I put the paper down, basically take a needle or a safety pin or a, I find a, a dentist cleaner or a tooth cleaner or whatever. Basically it's a stem with a, a needle point on it and just stick it through the paper on the line. Kind of like old school tattooing to the, uh, basically the shape of the blade to the cardboard. So when you cut it out, and if it has drastic curvatures like this, that would be a pain to do just straight cutting out. It would turn out a lot better. Yeah, it's it's nifty. Um, I had a few other designs I put on cardboard. I'll uh, grab them real quick. And sorry if there's any dripping noise in the background. As you can see, my shed likes to leak and it's winter so it's gonna do that a lot even got the uh, mushrooms growing yeah fucking sucks uh, again pardon for any language that you take offense to force a habit yeah it's leaking like a biatch back there but yeah built it 32 attached to a 16 by 8 and uh, hand built so leakage is expected at least it's you know dry in the center but whatever I got this design here and it was uh, really flimsy so I kind of reinforced it just glued some cardboard to it now it's basically a blade off another design and a handle from another so I basically snipped it in half and glued it this thing is, ooh, it's it's a monster. I mean, just wreak havoc chopping. Yeah, uh, I got some other, couple other designs. Oh wow, that went right into a puddle. I got a Skinner design I'm working on. I got a 19 foot boat trailer. I'm a cut up and use for uh, the steel for making knives and shit but uh, this this saw blade here is basically too thick for any type of skinning I'd have to drastically thin the blade uh, may attempt that with this skinner once I get a belt sander or bench grinder yeah see you can see how fast that got wet just for sitting up there. Got a towel here to help keep shit uh, dry. Yeah, see, it got wet too. Wipe it off of a towel. But yeah, that's a few designs. I'm gonna throw out some reviews on uh, Cold Steel Trailhawk, Black Running Throwing Axe slash Tomahawk. Um, maybe BK2 and I'm gonna put out a video how to make your own homemade throwing knives out of uh, it's basically a bracket and you can get them dirt cheap at any thrift store or uh, used hardware store it's basically uh, the way it sits is it goes swoops like that and comes down like this and rounds out then there's a little nub here and it goes straight back then there's hooks for hooking in and whatnot but yeah turn them into throw knives 
Yeah, they stick fantastically. I mean, that went into there almost completely through the wall. Yeah, don't give me crap about that either. I don't give a shit. So, uh, I built the shed myself with some assistance from my cousin. We'll talk about that uh, another time, maybe. Oh, drop a cigarette. Yeah, there's a torpedo style thrower fit in the palm for uh, impact defense. Sticks wonderful. Not that time because I'm holding the camera. Same with this one. It's uh, kind of like a kunai style, I guess. I don't know, maybe. Got the uh, finger groove and blade just for uh, stabbing. Uh, good quick home defense if you need something but don't want to buy nothing and want to make it yourself lanyard or whatever that hole is already there I didn't put that there anyways um tax survivalist this has been a wonderful video I guess wonderful coffee anyways I'm off remember safety first